What's going on, everybody? Uh, not sure if you heard. I think this was uh, late last week. Uh, RFK Jr.'s wife, Cheryl Hines. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of you might know her from uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. She was the uh, uh, main actress in that show. Um, so basically, she now, even though she's not doing anything wrong other than supporting her husband's presidential candidacy, is now being smeared by the media as well. Because apparently her husband's ideas are dangerous. Which is just, again, just more smearing bullshit nonsense by the mainstream media. Um, now, to be fair, some of his ideas are dangerous. A lot of the ideas that the Kennedy uh, family has are dangerous. For you, legacy media, he's dangerous to the status quo. He's dangerous to the CIA and the military-industrial complex. He's dangerous for the deep states. For the deep state, rather, he's dangerous for the elitists who have our politicians in their pockets. That's who he's dangerous for. And you guys have to understand that you guys are on your way out. Your numbers keep getting lower. Trump this and the RFK Jr., they're just constant smear pieces, constant hit pieces, and people are waking up to it. That's why Rogan gets 40 million views and CNN gets 350,000. What was that ratio 10 years ago? Rogan, was Rogan even getting a couple million? I don't even think he was getting that. And I believe CNN was getting over a million. He was still, I think, doing better, but or maybe not. Maybe, But it was, it was at least closer. Now it's, I mean, Rogan's getting almost 100 or around 100 times their views. And it's because people are just tired of hearing about these stupid hit pieces calling everyone who disagrees with them a conspiracy theorist or they're anti-science or whatever the hell they want to say. Fascist, that's another word they always say. But yet, apparently, when you have politicians in the pockets of a very small group of rich people, that's not fascism. That's democracy, yeah. See, how they keep lying to us, they keep lying to us, and now we're all, or none of us, or most of us, are not falling for it anymore. Some people still do. But even most of them are going to turn, just like they're going to turn or they've already been turning on Trudeau, just like they turned on Biden. No one likes these people. And they continue to lie. They continue to smear because they think that people are stupid. And if you believe uh, people like Joey Reid and Rachel Maddow, you are stupid. There, there's no way around it. It's just incredible. It's incredible how long they got away with it and how they're still getting away with it. You still have hundreds of thousands of people uh, watching these mainstream media conglomerates, and they're all shit. All of them. Right or left. It doesn't matter. Garbage. Fox fired Tucker. How's Tucker doing? Pretty good. How's Fox doing? Not so good. CNN fired Don Lemon, who sucked, but there's that didn't help them. In 2015, their numbers, or Don Lemon was on primetime, and he was doing pretty good numbers. Then he got demoted to the morning show, and now he's fired. This is what happens when you you can, can you continue to read script that these mega, mega legacy media owners will give you, and the scripts are basically pro who's ever funding them. Oh, they're being funded by Pfizer or whatever pharmaceutical company. Oh, well, we'll read you a script, and we're going to say that the everything that these companies make is good. Oh, no, this isn't science. This is misinformation. Oh, you think there's something bad with certain medications? Oh, this is anti-science, and these people need to be silenced. No, you need to be silenced, and you're about to be. All right, everyone, thanks for watching the video today. Uh, if you, uh, again, like and, like and subscribe if you don't mind, and always let me know what you feel in the comment section. I'll be back shortly with another video.